Okay, so I'm gonna let the car think I'm gonna go through this. And no stop sign detected. Oh, there it is. So, wow, those are really faint arrows. Four cars up and it's doing it again. And like if we do the three finger thing here, all the way up there, this car was being tracked. So this is my last attempt here. We're coming up to a stop sign. Oh, we got it! What's going on everybody? We're back just about a week later with another exciting update from Tesla. So we were on 2019.40.1.1. Now we're moving to 2019.40.2. And normally that small of a change uh, isn't gonna make a huge difference, but there's already some new features. So here's our new release notes. If you haven't seen the last update, I can link to that video above. So adjacent lane speed changes. This is pretty exciting. If you're driving really quickly next to a lane of stopped or significantly slower cars, the Tesla will change its speed to match those cars and it will be indicated on the screen with the arrows you can kind of see here and the cars will be highlighted in gray. This is really good because sometimes you'd be flying past a lane of cars and you actually need to merge into that lane and then the Tesla just turns its turn signal on and you're like, well, what the heck am I supposed to do with this? Automatic wiper improvements were already here in the last update, so that's covered in the other video and it doesn't look like there are any changes to the notes here. Automatic lane change improvements. Now, these were also covered in the last video, but they've totally changed the notes here. So let me show you a before and after of the notes on the screen and they've removed any mention of Mad Max. And now here's a really exciting one. So when you're using autopilot, if it looks like you're gonna go through a stoplight, you'll get a warning. Now the car is not going to stop for you. You shouldn't really use this for anything. This is an emergency backup in case you're not paying attention. But according to this, the car should detect stop signs and yell at you and say, hey, look out, you need to stop. Now we've had stoplight warnings for a really long time. I mean, it's gotta be getting close to a year now. They still don't work that well. I very rarely, even if I try to get a stoplight warning, uh, will ever get one. So let's get on the road and try all these things out. Okay, it does appear we still have our zero mile per hour autopilot. So that'll help us a lot with uh, trying out these stop signs. Okay, so I'm gonna let the car think I'm gonna go through this. Obviously I'm not. And no stop sign detected. Maybe because I was in the left lane, not the right lane. Uh, Tesla does actually use map data for their stop signs and stoplights. I know that may be surprising, um, but that's how they're detecting these things. If you've never seen uh, Green, Green the Only is his username on Twitter. He actually had kind of hacked his Model S to do full self-driving where it would react to stop signs and stoplights. And he was finding if the map wasn't correct, the car would see them, but it wouldn't react to them because it needs that map confirmation. So it can be difficult for us to really know if it's mapped or not and if it's gonna come up. So let's hit a few more stop signs. I really wanna see this warning at least once. This is like, we got a fire truck coming up but we are not in their way. Uh, this is like when the red light warnings first came out. I made a video about that and I got it to trigger like once out of, I don't know, like 10 or 15 tries. And ever since then I haven't you know, played around with that too much. It's a really difficult thing to test, but the few times I've tried it pretty much never warns me of red lights. Now, these are the kind of stop signs. I don't know if it would detect because I don't, I don't know if it's mapped. I assume it is. Um, nobody's coming. And yeah, we just kind of went, went right through that and autopilot panicked when the road ran out. So let's, there's another one coming up here. So going a little faster, maybe it needs some speed to detect it. And nope, no warning at all. I'm not gonna go through that. Okay, so another stop sign coming up here. I'm gonna slow down. And you know, since these are on the campus, yeah, it's not detecting them. So we're coming to a roundabout and it's not a stop sign, but it's a yield sign and who knows, maybe the car will react to it. It's not reacting to actual stop signs though, so I'm not sure why it would. So slow down here. And auto steer is on, car doesn't really care. Okay, so this is the best stop sign I can find for now that doesn't have a lot of traffic and is like on a road, like a main road going to another main road. So uh, I'm gonna keep trying on this stop sign and if I can't get it, I'll try to find some other ones later. So I'm gonna let the car just very slowly <laughs> creep up to the stop sign. Um, maybe no hands on the wheel, it'll think I'm not paying attention or something. Oh, was that it? I missed it. What does that say? Cruise control unavailable. I wonder if that was it. I don't, I didn't, I, I don't know. So it had the takeover warning, but in, I didn't see a stop sign image and I couldn't read the, the text. Obviously you guys could read it and I'll read it after the fact, but uh, in the stoplight one, 
it actually puts a little red light. Um, I can show you a picture of that, or maybe I already did. And it shows a red light, and it says, you know, take over immediately. It shows the pedals down here. It shows like the brake pedal in red. Okay, so I'm gonna try to find some other stop signs to try this on because it just I can't get it to work. Uh, and it is a backup. It's just it's just a backup. It's not something you're supposed to rely on. Remember, I'm testing these things, so you don't have to. And uh, let's get on the highway. I mean, it's later, but for you, it'll be in an instant. So we're gonna transition to some highway driving here. I guess I can let the car try to do this and it's gonna, oh, good job. Okay, uh, it's just with a guy behind me let me in. Yeah, okay, so that was pretty, wow. <laughs> really aggressive turn of the steering wheel. Um, good job by autopilot there. I am on the average setting, so I'm not on Mad Max. All right, so I think if I get over here, we'll go faster than this lane to the right, hoping. And we can see that new animation. I really want to see that. And I'm gonna try to find another stop sign or two. Um, but oh, here we go. Here we go. All right, let's get over. So we're going much faster. And this guy is ooh, doing something dangerous. All right, so I'm gonna let the car do its thing. Oh, there it is. So, wow, those are really faint arrows, but we're going faster than these guys. So that's kind of weird. Like, I don't want to go that speed. Now, I can just touch the accelerator, but you can see these are all dark gray, these cars here. This is light gray. We're not tracking that, but we are tracking this. So still, still doing it. And I hope you can see those arrows on the camera. They're very faint and now they're gone. So the car probably won't speed up much because we're going around a bend, but that's, it's kind of cool. Now you're really going to have to pay attention. I mean, you always are paying attention, but if that's happening like in that situation, I didn't. I really didn't want that. I wanted to see it, but it wasn't the appropriate action. So you can just tap the accelerator, like it says in the release notes, and then it'll kind of uh, not do that anymore. So let's see if we can trigger it again. It seems like pretty sensitive if it happened right away. And I'll try to just tap the accelerator and see if it overrides it, gets rid of those arrows or whatever it would do with that. Okay, so it's doing it again, and I'm gonna tap the accelerator. And now it just gets rid of the arrows and those cars are no longer dark gray. My car is now speeding up uh, or slowing because of this guy. But um, so yeah, if it's doing that, you don't like it, which I think most of the time I'm not going to like that. I understand why they're doing it because like if you're going 60 and this lane's going 10, that's not very safe. Uh, but it, like in this situation, it doesn't really make much sense. I mean, it's really cool though to get like these new abilities and like see the new stuff on the screen and everything. All right. So the car's going to change. There is a truck coming up. So the, that lane change, so when the car does the lane change itself, it's still a little delayed. Um, you know, it clicks a turn signal a few times, which yes, you're supposed to do that, but that's not how most people drive. If you look around, at least for me in Michigan, as people are driving, they, they hit their turn signal and they instantly get over, kind of like this, just like that. Turn signal on, car gets over. That's what most people do. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying that's what's going on around me. And I'm just gonna do this one myself and so it is doing it right away. So it's pretty sensitive. Uh, I, I, I looked around in the settings a little bit and I didn't see, again, it turned off like right away. I didn't see any options for this. Um, I guess we should double check here, but like this navigate on autopilot is exactly the same. I've just changed to average um, and lane departure. I mean, all of this is the same. So there's no options for that. And I think that's gonna annoy some people because people, you know, have all their preferences they like. Some people might not want to do that. So I do want to switch back to Mad Max here. And it's interesting because, like I said earlier, in the 2019.40.1.1 release notes, it specifically mentioned Mad Max for the better lane changes. And this time it doesn't. So I'm going to see if, you know, that does anything with... I mean, the car's not even getting over now, and it should. Okay, so it, it wants to do this lane change. And yeah, it's given it a few clicks. No big deal. I mean, it's like the actual lane change is very fast, very confident, um, but the signaling three, I mean, it's good. I, I'd rather it signal three times, honestly, but I just get a lot of people, if you've watched my videos, you've seen it, you see it all the time. My turn signal comes on, and if someone's in that lane, even if they're far back, they just, they step on it. So we just moved left um, to get away from that truck, which is not a new ability, but I noticed, if you can see, the line was bent as well. I haven't, I don't know if it's been doing that, um, I know in the video where my car goes around the barrel, the line did bend to show it was going around the barrel, but I haven't noticed it doing that for the trucks. Um, and that move over for the truck right there seemed a lot more uh, intentional and focused than 
than earlier where it would kind of like, oh, I guess I'm moving over, you know, kind of doing this thing. Um, that was just like really good. You know what? Here's what I want to test. Um, so I, I'm not getting out of the passing lane here and I probably should. I'm going to switch over to my, or average here, not mild, and see if now my car will get out of the passing lane. Some people were suggesting my car wasn't doing it because um, I was on Mad Max. Now, there is a lane to my left, but on this road all the time, my car constantly is getting out of this lane because it doesn't see that as a lane because of the solid line. Now these cars are going faster than me. See, I'm still not getting out of the passing lane. And, and now I have had it do it, so I know it's possible, but it seems like it's not doing it as often, which I don't know if that's good or bad. I guess it depends on what you really want. Uh, the person behind me here, I can put this up for you. The person behind me isn't too close. And I just want to see like, get out, <laughs> get out of the passing lane. This video is sponsored by the Model 3 Part Shop. You can use the code Dirty Tesla to get 15% off anything on their website. Okay, so changing lanes out, uh, no, into faster lane. So still not uh, doing a passing lane thing. Okay, so it's doing this again. So it detected those cars really early. So again, here's the new animation where it goes slow when the adjacent lane is going slow. So that actually helped a lot. That was really cool in that circumstance because what the car would do before is it would speed up like crazy until it you know, got closer to this car and then kind of slam on the brakes. That, I don't know, kind of unintentionally helped the car slow down before reaching the car in front of it. And you can see we're tracking, okay, it's over, but it was tracking, again, the dark gray cars are being tracked four cars up and it's doing it again. And like if we do the three finger thing here, all the way up there, this car was being tracked, that's one, two, three, four cars ahead uh, were being tracked by this. So it's really cool. I mean, we, we know that autopilot can see that far because it's showing the cars, but it's making now, it's making driving decisions four car lengths ahead and in the other lane. So this is really exciting stuff. And so the highway was really good. Uh, I know there were a lot of complaints from, not many people have 40.1.1, uh, .1 .1, but people that do were complaining. I didn't, I don't know, I thought it was fine. Um, but for me, that was really good. Seemed really steady, no swerving or anything. We can go for a right turn here. I always like to try it for fun. I am hitting the accelerator. And yeah, the car pretty much did it, but then it gave up. So I'm gonna try to find a stop sign or two. Uh, but I, I don't know. I think I think we're not gonna get that one. I hate to say. All right, I found a perfect little hillbilly road here, where it's there's really no traffic. That's not even a like a street with any traffic on it. So slowing down and nothing. The car didn't notice at all. So this is my last attempt here. We're coming up to a stop sign, and when these cars get out of the way, it's either gonna yell at me or it's not. So I, in this situation, would it would it work? You know, I mean, this is kind of a plausible situation where someone's not paying attention. They have autopilot on, the person in front of them stops, so they're like, oh, it's fine. And they don't notice the person drives away, so the car needs to save them. The car needs to warn them, not say, it won't save you. It'll just yell at you. Oh, we got it. We got, oh, look at that. And it stayed on the screen. Oh, we finally, oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I love it. I love it, guys. It said stop sign right there. I'm sorry I didn't get a nice crisp picture of it, but I will get the screenshot. Okay, so there it is. So it does work, um, rarely, but it does. All right, so it's starting to get dark. Uh, I think people are gonna be really annoyed with that going slow because of the adjacent lane thing. I get it, it makes perfect sense, but that's my prediction. There's gonna be a lot of complaints. I'm so excited we got at least one stoplight warning. So it's very similar to the red light warning where it just doesn't work all that well. Um, but, you know, to be fair, it's an emergency last minute thing. And I am paying attention and I am stopping the car. So on that last one, it definitely, if I wasn't paying attention there, it gave me enough warning where I could have hit the brake and I could have stopped myself from, you know, plowing into some traffic there. So it's, it's nice as a backup. I mean, it's really good and, and we're getting there. The car must need a really, really high confidence level that seeing a stop sign to actually give you the warning. I honestly have no doubt that the car is seeing those stop signs. It's just making the call of whether or not to warn us about it. I think that's where it's not sending us a warning because it's deciding for whatever reason, whatever the algorithm is, is saying, this is not the time to warn this person. We're not gonna send it. I see the stop sign, I see that they're going but we're not gonna do it. So overall, it's a it's a cool update and we're getting a lot of updates and you know, I mean, it's only been a week since the last time we had new features added and Tesla's really killing it for the end of the year here. I'm not early access, but hopefully soon, 
some early access people are gonna start seeing some stoplight and stop sign action so the car sees them. What I really wanted to do is how it kind of has the speed limit sign here. I wish when you were at a red light or something it would show the light um, just so we could kind of see what it's doing. I'm sure there's a reason that Tesla's not showing us that though. And same with stop signs, I wish it would show us a little stop sign. But um, overall, I'm excited. We're getting a lot of developments here and, and, and we're getting there, we're getting there. I mean, it's, it's, it's far-fetched, level five is gonna be a while, but I'm excited for what we have now and I'm excited for the new features to come. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'm always in the comments talking to you guys. I have a lot of fun doing that. I learn stuff from you as well. Um, so thank you for watching and you will see me in the next video.